Hello, this is Mugetsu, and this time I'm recording a tutorial on how to install uh, Mega Man XOD Community Edition. Because, well, it's been a long time since I did a tutorial for the original Mega Man XOD, uh, the original Mega Man XOD, and well, now that there is the Community Edition, I guess not many people are even aware that the game had a rebirth, and it's now, you know, uh, mod supported by the community so to help people and to make it easier for them to you know get on the game that is the reason why i'm doing this also because the tutorial for mega man xod is probably outdated by now all right so i'm gonna try to start from scratch as much as i can within reason so let's go okay for starters this time you're going to need this card. Before this was optional because there was the official web page with you know the original Mega Man XOD CE. Sorry, the original Mega Man XOD, but that version is obsolete now and I mean it doesn't even have online. That is one of the things. Mega Man XOD has online without the need for you know LAN and, and Radmin shenanigans and all, all that. It's not necessary anymore. Okay, so as I was saying, the first thing you will need is Discord, and you're going to need a link to access the server where a good bunch of the community is. Uh, okay, so this is the link. Don't worry, you will find it in the description. So I'm just mentioning it here, you know, for context. Okay, you're going to need this. Now, the server is in Spanish, most people are Hispanic, I mean, including myself, we are from Latin America, but also most of us are bilingual, so even if you don't speak Spanish, it's not really a problem, there's, have to, there's gotta be someone that will understand you, so it's a non-issue, alright, you know? Alright, okay, so you get Discord, you use the link, you get on the server, and here we are okay on the second channel that we can see here anuncios which is announcements you know it's not that hard okay here we have it Mega Man XOD CE Alpha 11 this is the current version at the time that this is being recorded and here we have a link for the assets and a link for let's say the core game this is important because sometimes uh, the assets don't get updated you don't have to update the assets every time only when it's mentioned that the assets have been updated and this is useful because the assets are the the heftier part of the download without them uh, the download for this you can see it's relatively light it's not even three megabytes so it's so that it's easier for you to update okay when you have to update and the assets haven't changed all you need to do is get the new correct version of Mega Man XOD CE here we have like for example for 64 bits for uh, 32 bits and for Linux 64 bits I don't think that we have a Mac version and by the look of it we don't have a Linux version on 32 bits either so this is what is available if you don't have Windows or Linux uh, I'm sorry you're gonna be out of luck all right so the thing to do is the, the next step is obviously to download it. and that is what I'm gonna do you know no tricks no hiding anything I'm doing everything as it is, as you would be doing it. <laughs> you know, there is this meme that when people do tutorials, they always say, uh, I don't download it because I already have it. No lo descargo porque ya lo tengo. Okay, we don't do that here. Okay, I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna click the link. And this is exactly what you're going to get. This is the link for the assets on Pixel Drain. You can see. CEA8assets.zip It's uh, 94.4 megabytes And 
Oh, compress is 103. Well, you can see the rest of the information is it has to match. Okay, it's the same. I don't have a magic link that is going to be, you know, like it's not going to give a virus to everyone else. You know, it's the same thing that I'm downloading. It's the same thing that you will be downloading. So let's actually download it. Okay, I have a download manager, but this doesn't really matter. I mean, if you don't have this installed, Firefox will download it on your own or whatever browser you might be using. Yeah. Okay. Now, that is downloaded. Here we have my download folder. We can see the file. Okay. Next step, get the correct version for Mega Man XO DCE. In my case, it's Windows 64 bits, so I'm gonna be using the first link. Okay, download the file. And there we go. So we have the two files. Now, this is just for organization's sake. It's my recommendation that, you know, for example, in my documents, actually, preferably to do in my documents if you can help it. Okay, this time I'm not doing it in my documents because I have a lot of folders and a lot of stuff and my existing Mega Man XOD folders. So I'm just gonna simulate it. Okay, I'm using the downloads folder. So, well, wherever you might want to install it, create the folder, you know, new folder MMXODCE drag and select the two files drop them in enter the folder right click extract here Okay, now right click, extract here, and well, that's pretty much it, okay, just delete the compressed folders to save space. Remember to empty your recycling bin if you're really that concerned about space. Okay, at this point you have the full game functioning, well, in its basic state. Now, for example, if you want to engage in matches with the community, there is one more thing that you will be needing, that is the community map pack. I will also be providing the link in the description. But in this case, I'm just gonna grab it. I'm gonna go to my G drive. Uh, okay. Um, folders. Okay, it's this one. Yeah. Okay, now let me see. Share the link. Also, this link will be in the description. Okay, so this is the link that we're gonna be using. And again, just to show you that there is no trick or anything, I'm using it myself. Never mind that my computer is in Spanish. Reminder, I am Mexican, live in Mexico, but that shouldn't really be that much of an issue. Okay, so download. And let it download. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna take a, a bit longer because it's a larger file, 252 megabytes. Your download speed will be variable probably better than mine <laughs> ok 
Okay, we're just gonna wait for it to finish. Any moment now. Done. Okay, so we grab this. I use Control X, but you know, you can just cut it. I mean, right click, cut, whatever. Okay, this is the step where some people get confused. You need to go into the assets folder, Control V, or you know, right click, paste. Okay, now that you have the RAR file here in the assets folder, right click, extract here, and let it overwrite whatever. Delete. Okay, now you have Mega Man XO DCE fully installed and with the maps, with the custom maps that the community uses so that you can, you know, participate in any matches. Because if you don't have the custom maps, it will not let you hop on the, the game. Alright, and I guess the final demonstration is just to open the game, so just give me one moment. I'm gonna readjust my controller because I had a configured for the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, I have to pair it up again. <laughs> okay, the control of shenanigans is not part of the tutorial. This is just a personal thing. Depending on the controller that you're using. Because in this case, it's a, a controller in wireless mode. If you have a wired controller, you don't have to worry about any of this. Okay, this is taking a moment. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, just waiting on my controller to pair up. And it's not working. Wait, I think I have it in the incorrect mode. God damn it. Okay, let's try again. Please pair up. <laughs> <sighs> okay, have to do this. Have to do this again. I swear I'm holding my controller right next to to the USB dongle and it's not pairing up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try one more time. <laughs> I apologize, I did forget to repair uh, the controller back to the computer. Okay, try it one more time. Okay, finally. <laughs> okay, so we opened the game. Yeah, this is gonna appear the first time.
the playable items in the CPU. But you can also play online if there is a, a host of match. Because if there is a host of match, obviously, it's not going to work. Okay, so if that wasn't enough of, demo of a demonstration, we can also try this, okay? So here we have land Relay, the, the mode that you will want to be using is P2P. So let's see, right now there are no hosted matches, you can host your own. So the only exception to this is if the master server falls, but you know, if that happens, you will find out if you are in the Discord and you have to be in the Discord to get the game in the first place, so yeah. 
You know, the thing is that people mostly communicate in Spanish because, again, most people speak Spanish natively, but if there are more English-speaking people, well, there will be more efforts to communicate in English. I mean, because it will be necessary, so, you know, if there is something like that, you know, like a server outage or anything, people will know. I mean, uh, probably Gazelle will inform people. Okay, so this is about it. This is what I can tell you about the game. I mean, you saw the tutorial from Zero. <laughs> and, well, here we have it. Okay, let me close it. Alright, I hope that this installation tutorial is as thorough as it can be. Because I know that some people sometimes uh, trip over some steps. So here we have it in full. There is nothing else missing to my knowledge. But still, if you have any questions, you can just ask me, you know, on the stream or on Discord. There is also my personal Discord server. I will be putting a link in the description for that too. I don't know if the, the other link on my YouTube channel is still, you know... Uh, up, up to date I'm gonna be checking that later okay but this is about it all right so <laughs> well if you stuck around through uh, the whole of the tutorial well even if you didn't thank you and I hope that this helps so have a good one and hopefully see you on the next video or stream <laughs>